Welcome to Career Lead Training Solutions. Myself Mohan and this is session 1 on number systems. In this video, I will show you how to find square root of any perfect squares in less than 20 seconds. For your reference, here I have written 1 square to 15 square and it is essential to remember at least up to 20 square to solve the simplification problem easily. So here I have given 4 examples. So before solving this 4 example using short trick, let me show you how to solve the square root problem using the traditional method. So square means you are multiplying the same number for 2 times. Example 12 into 12 you will get 144. So square root of 144 is 12. So here your objective is to find if it is square root of 144 you have to write it as 12. Similarly, here you have 4 examples, square root of 1, triple 4, square root of 9, 8, 0, 1, square root of 7, 0, 5, 6, and square root of 1, 7, 6, 8, 9. So let me, let me show you how to solve the first question using traditional method and I will show you how to solve using short trick then, right? So the traditional method is using L division, 1, triple 4 to find the corresponding square you have to use this method. So this is the structure to find the square. So the first step is you have to divide the digits into two two digits from first. So here one triple four it's a four digit number from first you are dividing the digits into two two digits. So one four comma four four. Now below 14 you have to look which is the perfect square. So below 14 the perfect square is what? It's 9 right. So 16 is greater than 14, so you have to look the perfect square below 14, so it is 9. So 3 into 3 gives you 9. So 3 into 3, you will get 9. So 14 minus 9, you will get 5. And you have to carry the next two digits, 4, 4, right? So you carry the next two digits, so it is 4 and 4. So you have to multiply the number which is at the top with 2. So 3 into 2, you will get 6. Now you have two gaps. Now you have to fill the number where if you multiply it, you have to get 544. Example, if you put 1 here, you have to substitute the same 1. So 1 into 61, you get 61. So it is not satisfying. So you have to mark 2 next. So 2 into 62, you will get 124. Similarly, you have to work with different numbers, right, up to 9. So let me substitute 8 here. So 8 into 68, you will get 544. So 544 minus 544, you get 0. So 38 and into 38 gives you 1444. So 30 square is 1444, right? So you might feel it's little bit difficult using the traditional method. Now let me show you how to solve these square roots in less than 20 seconds, right? So in traditional method, you have divide the digits from first into two two digits. But in shortcut, from last you have to divide the digits into two two digits, right? So from last you are dividing the digits into two digits and front you have two digits. And here the last digit is 4. So if the last digit is 4, by multiplying which number for two times, you will get 4 at last. Either multiplying 2 into 2, you will get a 4 or multiplying 8 into 8, you will get a 4. Example 12 into 12, it gives you 144. So 4 at last. So the last digit is going to be a 2 or the last digit is going to be 8. Right? Now you found the last digit to be 2 or 8. Now you have to find the tenth digit. To find the tenth digit, you have to look the perfect square below 14. The perfect square below 14 is what? 9. And the corresponding square is 3. So the number is going to be 32 or 38. Now even you don't have time to multiply 32 into 32 or 38 into 38. To find 32 or 38, you have to take the next number after 3. So 3 into next number is 4. So 3 into 4 gives you 12. So 12 is the multiplied number and 14 is the given number. If the multiplied number is less than the given number, then the greater number will be the answer. Let me repeat one more time. If the multiplied number is less than the given number, then the greater number is the answer. If the multiplied number is greater than the given number, then the lesser number is the answer. 
on the next question 9801 you have to follow the same step from last you are dividing the digits into two two digits so 01 at last and 98 at first so here the last digit is 1 so when you will get 1 at last if you multiply 1 for 2 times you will get 1 at last or if you multiply 9 for 2 times you will get 1 at last so the last digit is going to be 1 or 9 now you have to look the perfect square below 98 so perfect square below 98 is 81 so 81 corresponding square is 9 so the number is going to be 91 or 99 to find 91 or 99 you have to take the next number after 9 next number after 9 is 10 so 9 into 10 gives you 90 so 90 is the multiplied number and this multiplied number is less than the given number so if the multiplied number is less than the given number obviously the greater number is the answer right so here 90 is the multiplied number and 98 is the given number so multiplied number less than the given number so the greater number is answer so next 7056 so from last divide the digits into two digits and two digits so six at last so you have two possibilities either multiplying four into four you will get six or multiplying six into six you will get six so the last digit is going to be four or it is going to be six and below 70 you have to look the perfect square so below 70 the perfect square is 64 so you have to mark the corresponding square 8 here so the number is 84 or 86 to find 84 at 86 you have to take the next number after 8 so next number after 8 is 9 8 into 9 it's 72 so 72 is the multiplied number and this multiplied number is greater than the given number so if the multiplied number is greater than the given number what you have to choose you have to choose the lesser number so it is 84 so the number is 84 and here you have a 5 digit so if it is a 5 digit number you have to follow the same protocol so from last you are divide, dividing the digits into two digits and front you have to leave the three digits as it is and here the last digit is 9 right so if the last digit is 9 you have to mark 3 or 7 because 3 into 3 you will get 9 or 7 into 7 you will get 9 right so the last digit is going to be a 3 or 7 now look the perfect square below 176 the perfect square below 176 is what 169 and the corresponding square is 13 so 13 square gives you 169 so the number is going to be 133 or 137 you feel difficult to multiply 133 into 133 as well as 137 into 137 so the short trick is you have to take the next number after 13 so next number after 13 is 14 so 13 into 14 gives you 182 so 182 is the multiplied number and this 182 the multiplied number is greater than the given number 176 so if the multiplied number is greater than the given number you have to choose the lesser number as the answer so the answer is 133 so this is all the square root above i hope you understood this lesson properly right so before closing the video please subscribe my channel click the bell button like the video and share it to your friends if you hold any doubt on square root please mention in the comments Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.